We've got a really busy day today, so I'm trying to think of something really quick that I could make whip up for breakfast this morning. I don't make breakfast every morning. A lot of times we fend for ourselves. Each person just kind of fends for themselves. But I do love to make those big elaborate breakfasts. I always usually it seems like I end up doing that on the weekends, whether maybe I have sausage or bacon or country ham, and then I make gravy from that. Of course, I have biscuits and eggs, maybe some fried apples. Uh, maybe some chocolate gravy. I love to do that, but I don't always have time to when on the days that I am going to cook it something to eat. And one of my go-to things I'm going to share with you today is so simple. I think every culture has a recipe for uh, eggs and onions. That's all it is, is eggs and onions, how simple that is. Now, we eat a lot of eggs here. We have chickens, and we really love eggs, and they're so... Um, you know, they're filling and hearty, but they're also so easy when you think about making an egg sandwich, scrambled egg, or fried egg, or eating a bulled egg, or anything like that. So we love to use them for breakfast like that, but we also often have those, those kind of meals for supper. Another way I really love to use eggs when you think about those breakfast kind of things is like an omelet. I love to chop up some onions, some peppers, maybe some ham, maybe mushrooms if I have some, and saute that and then make an omelet out of it. It's really delicious. Of course, you gotta have the cheese too in the omelet. But this is, so this is like, I guess some people might think like an open-faced omelet, but again, it's even more simple than that because I'm only gonna use the eggs and the onions. I'm just gonna use seasoning, salt and pepper. You could add anything you wanted. That's just all I use. I've got some homemade bread that I've sliced up. I'm gonna put that in the toaster. And then I have some uh, butternut squash and onions that we had one night this week for supper, and I'm just gonna warm that up. And I think it'll turn out to be a really good breakfast. So I've got some butter in my cast iron pans here. This is the one I'll fry the eggs and the onions in. And then over in the other one, I've just got a little bit of butter in that just to make sure that my when I rewarm my butternut squash, it doesn't stick. Now to get my eggs ready, I've got about five eggs. You could do one egg, you could do you know 20 eggs if you need to. I'm just gonna start beating them, get them mixed up good. I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. Again, you could use whatever kind of seasonings you want. Okay, I'm gonna switch utensils here. A lot of people ask me about this whisk. It's a Rada whisk, and I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested. And I'm gonna put my, put my onions in. This recipe, like I said, if you do a little Google search, you'll find all kinds of different recipes, variations of this. And a lot of people pour it all out like it is an omelet and cook it that way. I like to do it like, think of like, almost like I'm making pancakes is the way. I like crispy edges, and if you do it that way, it seems like you end up with more crispy edges. So that's how I do it. But basically, any way you cook it, it's gonna be delicious. It's one of those simple things. You're like, eggs and onions. It's so simple, but yet yeah, so good. I don't think I may have enough onions. If I've got any left over, I can put them on the side. Or I'm gonna make cabbage patch stew tonight. I can save them for that. I think that's good.
think we're ready. What we got there? Eggs and onions, some grapes, some kraut. I don't know why I wanted kraut toast and some butternut squash and onions left over from supper. sure to get out your spicy stuff. Yeah, hot stuff. I like it hot. Gotta have the spicy, huh? I'm a spicy kind of guy. Got a red place on your head. Is that from your mask? That's from that um, headlamp. Mask headlamp. Gotta wear all of it. I'm getting old. I can't see anymore. That's what it's about. Wait for what's coming, sister. Literally can't see. I feel bad, but it's true. Ooh, this looks good. I think I'll start with this, make sure I eat it, and then I'll come back. Okay? Thank you. Okay. I'm hungry, so this is going to be good. Did I offer y'all butter or not? Did um, I? here, I'll bring I okay. here. Put this on this piece of toast. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> well, tell me when. I don't I'll know. put a little more on there. I'm trying to have high cholesterol. Thanks. Oh, there you go. some kraut too. We didn't make near enough kraut. We've been, I don't know why this has just been the year that we've all been crazy about kraut. Just turned out especially good. Now Matt likes to put the spicy hot stuff on his. I don't like to do that. But what I like is cocktail sauce. Seems really weird, don't it? But I like cocktail sauce, so I have me some of that. So let's see. Let me before I go and eat with the family, let me taste a little bit for you. Make sure you get one of the onions. Mm. It's good, but how could it not be? Onions and eggs, two of the greatest things in the food groups, I guess, is at least in my opinion. Mm. Really good. And so simple and so hearty all at the same time so this breakfast although very simple will really set us up for the day that busy day that we have ahead of us as always we're we're glad that you stopped by to help us celebrate appalachia